they're really milking this thing. <laughs> They're really milking. They really are, yeah. They're like a bunch of dairy farmers. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo is milking it. You know what? They freaking, they teased us all for a long time. They <laughs> teased us. <laughs> I don't know why. No, what are you telling, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you this is why everybody's shitting on the new Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Welcome back to another G video. Video. I'm your host, Mark. Video. I'm Seth. I'm Paul. And, and today, <laughs> <laughs> we always do this every time. And today, we are talking about why everybody and their mom is shitting on and the new and their, grandmas and their grandmas, grandmas too. God, yo, I wish my grandma played Switch. She'd be dope <laughs> as hell. We're talking about why everybody is very unhappy about the new Nintendo Switch OLED release. Um, I, I don't know, Paul, you know what, as the, as the resident Nintendo expert, why don't you kind of walk us through the, the big points here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, since Brady's not here, I guess I'll fill in, but... Oh, Brady, we miss you. Yeah. Rest in peace. We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, everyone's just gonna be like, oh shoot, what happened? Yeah, pour one out for the homie Brady. I'm just kidding, he's on vacation, he's fine. He died on vacation. He's <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yes, anyways, um, the new Nintendo Switch OLED, they just announced it yesterday, and yeah, honestly, everyone was expecting uh, the new Nintendo Switch Pro to come out. They were uh, expecting an announcement at E3 earlier at the uh, next, or last month or whatever. And, you know, Nintendo didn't give us that, and now they hit us with this kind of garbage right here. <laughs> this one, I look trash. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's just a regular Switch with a bigger screen, maybe, a, you know, a brighter screen, maybe a little bit of audio, but for $50 more. There's really no point to this. I have a conspiracy theory. theory. What's your conspiracy what theory? What if it's like the Tesla, where you can upgrade it to the Pro, and you get early access, and that's their marketing time. Yo! Wait, to... hold on. Oh, what? I'm on to something, Hang yo. on, so you think that <laughs> Secretly, the OLED switch is actually the, the Switch Pro. Pro. Okay, okay it's, probably, it's probably not that, but... <laughs> hey, if this is the Pro that everyone was waiting for, <laughs> Nintendo might just honestly give up at this point. Yeah, right? it just... First of all, I thought it was funny that everybody in the comments was like, Oh, look at these people playing through the trailers of these games. Like, how bad is the video editing that they didn't actually <laughs> capture gameplay? And then second of all, like, everybody was like, what about hardware upgrades? What about Joy-Con drift? What about all of the actual issues with the Switch that we wanted to get fixed? And you're giving us instead a bigger screen that will just sit in the dock gathering dust. That's not important if it's white. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> 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 what are you trying to say, bro? It's 2021. I don't see color. <laughs> He's trying to get us canceled, dude. Yeah, right? Yeah, since I am, uh, like you say, the resident Nintendo expert, obviously I have some bias, you know, about this new OLED one, but we have some fresh perspectives here. Maybe, you know, you guys can convince me why this might be worth the buy, you know, worth the yeah, $350. I, I can't. Yeah, I can't <laughs> see too straight up. Realistically, yeah. I Realistic, I can't, I'm trying I mean, to play devil's advocate. Mm. Well, here's the deal. I, I mean, like, if you don't own a Switch, then sure, it might be worth it to you. But, like, the reality is, when I went to go get my iPhone, I remember the guy was like, hey, he's like, this one, there's this one, and then there's this one. And one was $200 more. And I was like, what is the actual <laughs> difference between these two things? And he goes, this one has a screen that's like three millimeters bigger. And I was like, yeah, don't give a fuck. Give me the normal one. I got small hands anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> his hands are small. <laughs> That's kind of small. Yikes. I'm six, I'm six two for reference. I got a little hands. I'm, I'm like five five. the romantic music. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I mean like as a, as a person who doesn't own a Switch, I don't know, maybe the 50 bucks sense. might be worth it. It might make sense, honestly, for I, a little yeah. bit bigger screen. I'd have to see them like actually side by side, but um, Really, from what I understood, the big, the only major, I mean, there's no performance improvement upgrades at all. It's just nope. a bigger screen and the dock apparently now has a dedicated LAN port for online play. But I feel like there were plenty of workarounds for that already in the existing yeah. Switch. Yeah. And like, when you release something new, you know, like, Xbox didn't go like, oh, here's the Xbox Series X. It's exactly like the Xbox One. It just has like 
this one cool thing. Like, no, it's a completely different system with lots of upgrades, like huge compatibility, or uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like just much more performance oriented. And that's what I think people expect when, when new things drop is that it's gonna be, I don't know, new? I think I would get it if they priced it lower. Like if it was like the iPhone and then the iPhone C. You know, it was like a oh. cheaper, more affordable version of it. That, see, that would have been, I that feel like, a much more sense. smart, more accessible. Yeah. Wait, well, they already have that though, the Switch Lite. Well, okay. then I have no excuses for Nintendo <laughs> anymore. Like, but, I mean, again, for anybody who already owns a Switch, it's pointless, I think. And then for people who are new, it's like, is it, that's, but people that's would the buy it. You know people would buy it. I mean, it. yeah. Because like, um, when you go to movie theaters, this is, you know, way back in the day before COVID. You know, anyone, if anyone remembers that. Before but COVID. yeah, if you go to movie theaters, like, um, all the biggest films, they had like the regular standard option that you could watch. Oh, and then IMAX. Or the IMAX and like, what is it, RPX with a better sound and like all that stuff. That's true. And like, people would buy those things, you know? Because it's a better experience like watching the movie. So I'm guessing like, this is kind of in the same realm where like, the it's just arts. a better, you know, it's better audio, um, better, you know, better screen, you know, and blah, 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 the lamp port and everything. So it's just an overall better experience playing these games. And I think that in light of the fact that everybody's been expecting the Switch Pro, I think that's the biggest thing. Like if yeah. they came out with this like six months after the initial release and they're like, hey, a new and improved model, it wouldn't have gotten as much shade as it's getting. But the, the fact that everybody's been so much, like waiting for the Switch Pro announcement and then they drop this and it's like literally almost no qualitative difference. <laughs> what is, God damn it. Now this is a, now this is a G Minio meme, just tickling balls somewhere. Ball. And like the Switch has been out for years now. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's true. It's like years, years go by, and this the best you got is a bigger screen, a LAN port, and and again, not actually fixing some of the issues that people have with it. Like mm -hmm. that, that's that's the that's the that's the no deal for me. Yeah, because the the biggest issue or people were saying that like the Switch was dying out is because it just doesn't keep up with the other consoles like oh. Xbox, PlayStation. Um, all the games that you could play on those consoles, even if they're brought to the Switch, they have to lower the graphics, they have to lower the performance, everything because, you know, the Switch can't handle it. And so that's why everyone was excited for the Pro because, you know, like, oh, maybe finally we can, uh, they can handle some of the, the, the mm. higher, you know, higher graphics and everything like that that everyone wants. Um, It'd be like having an Xbox X or a PS5 in your pocket as opposed to like stuck in your house. Exactly. Or, or, I mean, you can, but you can also play it at your house. That's the beauty of this. Yeah, so like the whole point of this OLED thing is now you could see the potato figures even bigger now, you know? Like, <laughs> the it's shitty that, rendered figures. Yeah, exactly. You could see how much yeah. shittier it is. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it, yeah, even more apparent how bad we are now. <laughs> End of the day, I mean, I think it's an L for me. Like, I, I just... Uh, I don't, I can't fathom why. I think, I think if you don't have the Switch, I think it's definitely worth it. It might be worth it. But again, like, Upgrading. no one, everybody, like, I feel like people who bought a Switch, we're gonna buy one already. Like, this to me is, like, this new release isn't, hey, Seth, oh, now, you know, oh, bigger screen? Now I'm gonna buy it. It came out three years ago, but I'm gonna buy it now, because they made this sweet-ass bigger screen can. But hey, that's just my opinion, you know? That's just one guy's opinion. We all got him. So. Yeah. So let us know your opinion yeah. Yeah, down in the comments. Let us know, hey, is this worth the extra 50 bucks? You know, do you think the enhanced audio, more storage, all of that, uh, you know, kind of outweighs the, the cons of all of the other stuff that we didn't get? Let us know down there. And while you're there, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Franklin the turtle right now. <laughs> what the fuck is Franklin the turtle? <laughs> you know Paul, Franklin? Paul, put it in post, bro. Hey, it's all right, but make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Let us know down in the comments below what you guys think of the new Nintendo Switch release. And uh, tickle some balls. Tickle some balls <laughs> while you're at it. Tease some, tease some fun bits. At you. That's your game, you actually. I remember. Tickle some balls. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna get flagged. For real. Right. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. And as always, give us a balls. Make it. Bye guys. <laughs>